good afternoon. It's still September 16th, 2024, and this is video two of two. We're going to talk a little bit about channel policy changes, and we will introduce you to the first missing adult reported on by this channel after the update. This podcast is rated for a mature audience only. If you are under 18 years old, this content is not for you. Thank you for visiting us. There's plenty of other content on YouTube for you to watch. Have a great day. All content not created by the blue-haired bingo babe, that's me, belongs to its original creator. It is used to substantiate, augment, or exemplify this author's content. It is used under Title 17, Section 107 of U.S. Code, governing fair use for news, education, and critique. Before I do anything else, let me welcome a couple of new subscribers. Thank you so much. If you're new here, or if this is the first time you've ever been to my channel, this channel covers social commentary, missing persons cases, and some interesting cold cases, although we have not done any cold cases so far. The social commentary part gives me the freedom, mostly in the editorial pages playlist, to give you the facts on any given social situation or give you a commentary on something that might be current events or it could be something from the past. Editorial pages is a real mixed bag. The policy change that I'm going to make on this channel is twofold. Number one, if you have are an old timer, you've noticed comments for the last three videos have been turned off. And I have reached out to YouTube to get an answer, and they gave me no answer with regard to two specific questions I asked them in order to become even more compliant than I already am. So we'll see by the end of the day whether they answer the two specific questions. It is true that if you're serious about getting the word out about missing persons, if you're reporting on children as I have done for the last three years, it takes its toll on you. And I will freely admit it has taken its toll on me. I try and keep to the facts. And if I'm giving you an opinion, I clearly tell you this is my opinion. And oftentimes a case update will end up in editorial pages, not in the case specific playlist for that reason. The second policy change that I am implementing is that today I will present to you a missing adult case. Now this case is already well along and there are some hopeful indications that this missing adult will be recovered shortly. Nevertheless, let's take a look at her case. This is the post for a woman from Mobile, Alabama. Her name is Wendy Sage. She was last seen on August 16, 2024. She's 64 years old. She's 5'6" and weighs 150 pounds. If you have any information, please contact the Mobile Police Department at 251-208-7211. There's her database entry link. And they put this disclaimer in every missing person report they post. Only people with official Missing persons reports with police departments are posted. You can view their database entry to view the source of the information, as well as find useful tools to help find the missing. Every missing person in our database is checked daily for updates, and then they give the appropriate hashtags for her case. Established in 2018, all missing people are sourced. You can view the official source link for Wendy Sage in their database entry above. And this is Wendy Sage out of Mobile, Alabama, last seen August 16th, 2024. And all the information I just gave you, and I'll scroll this up so you can catch the QR code displayed. Pause the screen and take a screenshot. Of about five minutes ago, the Missing People in America site thanked someone for reposting. She's still missing, but solid leads have come in from the community. Share her flyer. Wendy's flyer is already posted on my community wall. And let me take just a moment to talk about missing 
people in America. This is their Twitter page, and they are veteran-owned. They also have a Facebook page and Instagram page and a website. And so I will be taking cases from their Twitter feed. That is not to say that we will not be reporting on children's cases. We will. We will continue to follow the children's cases in our crawl, and we're very happy about the successful rescue of Penelope Wise earlier this summer. That case really kind of gave me a shot in the arm. Uh, she was a missing teenager, and she has her own playlist in our playlist file cabinet. Thank you for joining me for this channel policy update episode, as well as the introduction of our first adult missing person case. Everything you do for this channel, likes, shares, comments, is greatly appreciated. God bless you. I'll see you real soon.